So in the beginning, since I'm doing what's in my project bag Wednesday, this is the first time I'm going to show y'all all three bags. Next video, when I do another one on Wednesday, I'm going to just pull a bag and show y'all which one I'm actually going to do a project bag. crochet family i am your one and your only lady of crochet lady simone and we are here on a wednesday for what's in my crochet bag wednesday yes 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 y'all i wanted to start something on the channel just showing you guys what i am working on middle week what's in my crochet bag i have three small size project bags and I decided to put a project in each of those bags and I'm going to pick, I know which one I'm going to pick today, but I'm going to choose from one of the bags and I'm going to show y'all what's inside of my project bags. But before we get into all that, I want y'all to know that each project bag that y'all see here today was designed and made by the one and only Priscilla, Priscilla, I'm sorry, at Distinctively Handcrafted. If y'all have not ever have any of Priscilla bags, I'm telling you, y'all, if you're in the market to look for a crochet bag, and y'all, she's not telling me to say none of this because she don't even know about this video, <laughs> but I'm speaking from the heart. If you're wanting a bag that is high quality, stands the test of time because i have one that i have for a long time and i put it through some stuff y'all i want you to go to the website that i post in the description below because you will not be disappointed priscilla makes some of the most beautifully crafted um, project bags and listen I love them. I love them. And another thing that I love about them, because I'm going to just have to put this in there. One thing that I love is that when you love a thing and you create something for that thing that you love, you actually have an understanding of what the crafter actually need because you crochet or you knit or whatever like that. So I see that in a quality of Priscilla's bags because you can tell the zip the zip, the, uh, I'm saying the zip, y'all. I gotta take a little breath. Gotta calm down, y'all. I get so excited. <laughs> I get so excited. Okay, so when I say, I was talking about the zipper because there's zippers inside, well, on the project bag. And those are actually so good because you can put like your scissors in there or anything, even down from, I'm going to start showing y'all because I'm just talking, but even from the little loop, because if you're going out and about, you can hold this little loop with your stuff. I'm a wristlet person. So I have like a little wristlet that I take with me y'all and it has a little hook, but my wristlet even small enough that I could put in my project bag if I have to. And each project bag that I have, have this little zipper here and you got a nice little area if you want to keep your scissors or your hook or whatever it is i have like a little piece of candy a little piece of mint in there it's good for keeping mitts in there too <laughs> you never know when you want to mint so i'm going to show y'all the three bags that i have from distinctive we handcrafted y'all this is my mickey bag y'all when i saw this i was just like i gotta have it this is so so like to me, Mickey brings out like it just childhood, childlike. So I, y'all, anytime that I can stay in that childlike field, y'all, I try to stay there because guess what? Whoo! When we are kids, we don't have to worry about all the stuff of the world. You just, you just like kids are the greatest people to learn from because I'm telling you, they have no understanding of all the crazy that's going around. They just like whoop, 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 just enjoying life. So I stay in that. <laughs> so this is the one of my project bags here. Here's another project bag, which is another Mickey one. But y'all, this one is super special to me because I have a hook case to match it, y'all. And I carry this hook case with me everywhere I go. <laughs> everywhere I go. So I put it sometimes in my um bog bag if I'm working on a project, <clears throat> a large project or whatever, and I want to carry it with me. I'll put this in, y'all. It has everything. I just have to show y'all this real quick. If y'all are in the looks for like a nice hook case, whew, this is so beautifully designed. It's enough to keep all your favorite hooks. You can keep your notions pouch in there. Like y'all, this is amazing. I love, love, love my actually hook case. And it's so lightweight. You can carry it with you everywhere. I'm telling you, it's beautiful. So my third project bag is 
this one so this video in the beginning since i'm doing what's in my project bag wednesday this is the first time i'm gonna show y'all all three bags next video when i do another one on wednesday i'm gonna just pull a bag and show y'all which one i'm actually gonna do a project from so anyways i'm gonna pick this week's bag is the og bag that i have this is my very first distinctively crochet and let me be long i'm saying it, I'm, listen distinctively handcrafted bag <laughs> this is my first one right here and y'all it's beautiful i remember taking this with me to the dentist and they were like this look like a lisa frank bag i was like it really does but when i saw it it was like the glitter fabric y'all and it has stand the test of time because i take this out with me like a lot and it holds up so good but i want to show y'all what's in my crochet bag so this week y'all i have <clears throat> this red heart yarn and I have a half done project. Now, this is so beautiful. <laughs> I like the colors. But the thing is, this is for a um, Kindle Paperwhite um, e-reader case. Excuse me. This is a Kindle Paperwhite e-reader case. But the thing is with this, I no longer have a Kindle Paperwhite. I have a Kindle Oasis. So, I'm going to have to figure out the size differential so that I can make my Oasis fit into this so y'all i'm gonna have to frog this beautiful thing i am going to have to frog it unless i can think of another maybe something else i could possibly use it for and just keep it as that kind of pouch but i'm thinking i'm gonna go on the frogging side so i'm not sure if i'm going to do a um Let's see i'm not sure if i'm going to do an oasis case or if i'm going to make a hat or something small because that was my intention for doing these videos i have my smaller project bags put yarn in them and just come up with a small project that's my idea so for this week y'all and next week when i do it or when i come back i'm not going to put you know a, a thing on it and say next week but when i come back you're going to see what I made with this yarn. Now, I know I'm going to frog this. I don't want to because look how beautiful, y'all. I thought this turned out so pretty. I love, love, love this pattern, but it just crochets. This yarn crochets up so pretty. So just in case, too, I'm pretty sure y'all have seen this yarn before. But just in case, Red Heart Super Saver Stripes. And this colorway is the favorite stripes. This is one of my favorites colorway because of all the beautiful colors. But again... This is my project bag. I'm going to link all of Priscilla's information. If you want a handmade, beautifully designed crochet bag, she have them from small to large. And y'all saw my hook case. You can get a hook case too. Y'all head over to Distinctively Handcrafted. <laughs> you know, y'all know how my mind go. Distinctively Handcrafted and you will not be disappointed. So with all of that being said, this is my week's of what's in my crochet bag y'all let me know what y'all are working on i hope y'all are having a beautiful day and always remember that i am your one and your only lady of crochet and i will see you next time <laughs>